Assalamualaikum everyone, I am in Istanbul and I bumped into a very special place. This is a graveyard. This is where many Ottoman officers are buried. Uh, officers from the late Ottoman uh, military or maybe state. You can see Muhammad or Mehmed Said Pasha who died in 1335. We have Umar Lutfi Oglu, Ahmed Faik. He died in 1307, more than 100 years ago, nearly 140 years, almost. And if you keep walking, basically these are the graves of Ottoman officers. How do I know that? I know that from date. This is before the collapse of the Ottoman Khilafah. Okay. Um, because these dates are before that period. So these are definitely Ottoman officers who served either in the Ottoman army or the state, late Ottoman state, because the title Pasha was for important people. Like, for example, this one, Ahmed Tawfiq Pasha. Okay. Vifat, which is basically death, 1919. So this is before the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. It corresponds to 1335 Hijri. May Allah have mercy on these men who served. The Ottoman Empire to the best of the abilities. Some of these graves have very nicely carved tombstones. You can see the calligraphy. There are du'as, sometimes verses of the Quran, the name and the status and the position of the deceased. This particular grave basically is Ismail Haki Admiral. He was, sorry, Amiral. Amiral Ismail Haki and he was, uh, he died in 1316. Uh, exactly the same year when my great-grandfather Sheikh Minhajuddin bin Sarajuddin passed away corresponds to the year 1899 that's the year my great-grandfather's grandfather passed away in 1316 uh, which is 1899 so this was an Ottoman officer again here we have another Ottoman officer we have Javed Bey Allah have mercy on him 1317 he passed away which possibly corresponds to 1900 or 1901. 1901. Then we have Fazil Pasha, you can see, and Allah have mercy on him. He died in 1318, maybe 1902 or 1901. Then this uh, place looks very special because when you look at the grave, you can tell that this was someone important. Okay, he did Mehmed Ali Pasha Uglu. Halim Pasha basically and he died in 1312 which is about 1896 something like that okay. uh, this seems to be a very special monument to clearly an Ottoman army officer who died in 1309 <laughs> right and uh, you can tell by this military military regalia depicted on his tomb mercy on him by the way I mean I personally don't agree with this kind of decoration on graves the Prophet ﷺ clearly commanded that graves shouldn't be higher than one hand but this was the way of the Ottomans no what can we do but Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know gave these people the honor to serve the last Khilafah albeit uh, controversially uh, you know established but alhamdulillah they were in their way serving the cause of Islam so this is Asad Pasha who died in 1312 right this seems to be a special place this uh, person died in 1312 I don't know what the name is uh, and you know uh, these inscriptions are in Ottoman Turkish when Mustafa Kemal he came to power he changed the script from the arabic script to uh, the latin script so turkish language today is written in the latin script uh, but previously this is the script that was used to write the turkish language this is called uh, the ottoman turkish language 13 14 this person uh, he died okay so these are some of the new graves how do we know this? Because these are from the 
Republic period later on because the script here is in Latin which is not in the Arabic Rasmul Khat or it is not the Arabic script. So this graveyard seems to be very special. It is definitely uh, for the Ottomans, Ottoman officers, Ottoman dignitaries and Ottoman uh, military men who died and were buried there. May Allah have mercy on them. Just wanted to share this very quickly with you. History Bites. This is another History Bite for you. Uh, a glimpse into some of the history of Istanbul, Turkey or the Ottoman Khilafa. I invite you all to visit Turkey as soon as possible and study the history very, very carefully. You cannot, you cannot cover all the historic sites in the city of Istanbul alone in a year. Okay, and I'm being very careful with that statement. There is so much to see in the city of Istanbul. So I hope you liked the History Bites today. Uh, subscribe to the channel and follow the links to support our work. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much.